Well, Huawei has shared its vision of the future, and for them, it's all about an AI-focused super phone that will act as a double of you. Speaking at the World Internet Conference in China recently, Huawei CEO Richard Yu delivered a futuristic keynote speech on artificial intelligence. In that speech, Yu outlined his concept of an AI-centric superphone that ultimately will be, in his words, a double of Yu. Yu then discussed the emergence of the information civilization, which he says is evolving in two key areas. One, richer information, and two, more convenient access. Quote, the increasing digitization and convergence of information we are now witnessing is an overwhelming and ultimately unimaginable trend, but it is a problem that AI can solve. So what you is talking about here is a problem that we've talked about many times on Android Authority, and it's all about the overwhelming amount of data that we have from all of our devices, and it's only going to get worse with the Internet of Things. So how to manage it in a way that is actually useful and helpful. Already, most companies that collect a lot of data don't really know what to do with it and how to make it actually profitable and useful for them. He's saying that artificial intelligence will be able to automate that process for us. According to you, this exponential data growth is becoming incomprehensible to humans, a problem in dire need of a solution. The solution you envisions is a smartphone powered by advanced AI what he calls a superphone. As you says, quote, a superphone goes far beyond making calls and browsing the internet. It's not only your personal and go-to assistant for daily tasks, but even a double of you. The superphone will introduce a new information management architecture. This AI-focused superphone will no longer be a passive device, meant only for interactions between the user and the device, but the superphone will be special because it will proactively interact with the physical world. You sees the superphone interacting with the real world with, quote, abilities matching or exceeding those of human eyes, ears, tongue, nose, body, and mind. Now, some might accuse you of being excessively wordy and vague about how this will work and exactly what that means, but he's done something very effectively. He has usurped the word superphone. It's not just a smartphone, it's a superphone. Why would you want to buy a smartphone from any of these companies when you can get a super phone from Huawei? Smart. Very smart. Now, as you may recall, one of the main software selling points of the recently announced Huawei Mate 9 is the ability to learn over time and be born fast and stay fast, according to Huawei. The Mate 9 does this through machine learning that picks up on your behaviors and preferences and predicts what you're likely to do and when. Using this information, the Mate 9 might, for example, prepare an app it thinks you'll use next, periodically defragging your storage for faster access or managing system resources according to your usage habits. All cool, exciting, sexy even. I mean, this is the way we're going. AI. But I do have some legitimate fears. Now, I'm no AI expert, but I do understand the basic principles. And my primary fear is that if we don't have some sort of international body that governs how and why and the protocols behind programming AI, you're going to have advanced AI programs that are heavily biased. Think about it. If I grew up in uh, an education system and I only had one teacher or two teachers, and regardless of how well educated and how skilled those teachers were, I would only be seeing the world through my teacher's eyes. I need many different teachers from many different schools with different philosophies to round out my education. And my fear is that if we only have Huawei programming their advanced AI and it, it's not adhering to some sort of international standard, we're going to have problems. Just imagine what those are. Those are kind of scary. So what do you think? What are your concerns when it comes to AI? Put them in the comments below. I'll be reading them. Meet Jeremy Shoemaker otherwise known as Shoe Money. And he became famous for this photo, where he showed off a check that he made from Google AdSense. And he's become so good at making online businesses that he made an announcement that he does not start a new business unless he can secure the business's name in a .com. Now, why is that exactly? Well, no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. And who doesn't want to be credible? And don't forget, you get 15% off when you use our coupon code ANDROID. 
When you think domain names, think domain.com.